In this video, I'm looking at blood pressure monitoring cuffs. The most difficult thing that comes to mind when working with animals is which cuff should you be choosing for each individual patient. I'm going to go over two different techniques that you can use to figure this out. In this instance, I'm using SunTech blood pressure cuffs. So I've got five different sizes here labeled one, two, three, four, and five, and they've got their different measurements. So this will also help determine which one you're going to choose for the patient that you're operating on or that you're monitoring. Before we get into how to measure up for them, let's go over some common issues that people experience. So one is they use the wrong adapters when they're ordering the blood pressure cuffs. So make sure that you've got the right adapter that suits your monitoring machine. The second is not having your blood pressure cable plugged in correctly. It happens more than you think. So just check that. Another one is that your cable from your blood pressure monitoring machine is not connected properly to your blood pressure cuff. Always make sure that you're sliding back the silver adapter to insert the white cuff adapter. Also making sure that that white adapter is connected to that white cable properly. If there are any leaks around here, your cuff is not going to blow up properly. It's not going to work efficiently. The other thing is that if there is any breaks or leaks or damage to the cuff itself, especially around this section, it's not going to give you an accurate reading. Now we're going to look at the two different ways that we can measure up for our blood pressure cuffs. Now, firstly, I would probably choose where you're going to place the cuff. And there are a couple of different options for this. I'm going to put up on the screen my favorite would probably be the tail base just because the width of the tail is always kind of uniform whereas the leg it's kind of you know some dogs are bony some dogs are a little bit overweight but the tail is usually pretty good these are the two cuffs that I'm kind of guessing might fit Daphne so we're just going to measure them up and see which one's going to fit her better so this is the first technique so you're placing the blood pressure cuff down the leg and this part across the top here that should cover 30% in cats and 40% in dogs of the circumference of that leg if that makes no sense at all Go and check out our Instagram. I did put an easy to read and kind of workout guide on the Instagram page for that because I know it is. it sounds a lot more confusing than what it actually is. The second way that we're going to work it out is using this, the range that you've got in that blood pressure cuff, which goes back to the different sizes. And we're going to measure around the leg. You can use a measuring tape and measure your patient's leg each time and just check which one they will fit into also double checking that the index marker on that blood pressure cuff fits within that range if it doesn't fit quite enough like or it's just out of it i would either go up or down in your blood pressure cuff size a handy tip with this if you are tossing up between two different blood pressure cuffs go with the larger one the larger one is always going to give you more accurate readings when i'm going back and trying this one that's one size smaller I can feel that it might technically kind of fit her, but I know that once I press blood pressure read on that machine, it's going to inflate and it's just going to pop off that leg. A good indication here was there was too much Velcro showing there as well. That So that kind of tells me that's too small. So I've gone with the size up. Another handy point, when you are taking blood pressure in a dog that is awake, make sure that leg is elevated up to the heart like that. One other thing that I would mention is don't trust your first reading. I, as a baseline, make it run through three times and then after that, that's when I will start taking in that reading and noting that down and plotting that on my anesthetic chart. Also important on your machine, make sure that it is selected to either a large or small cuff size and check that your species is set to either cat or dog because that will make a huge difference. And that is just the basics for choosing the correct blood pressure cuff.